Bree has been in a coma for nearly two weeks now. I've literally gone to the hospital every single day to talk to her, in hopes that it would help her find her way out and, and she'd snap out of it. But some people are starting to lose hope already. I know some people are already in talks about unplugging her and seeing if she can survive on her own without the life support. Now I've convinced the nurse as much as I can to keep that life support going, but ultimately it's not up to me. It's up to her father and her mother and... I just... I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. I've missed school so much since she's been in the hospital. My grades are suffering and... Nothing's going good right now. But the nurse told me she's confident Bree's gonna pull out of it, and soon, and, and I feel the same way. That's why I'm not gonna give up on her. I'm going to the hospital right now. I'm gonna talk with her and make sure she knows I'm there for her and I love her. Oh, someone's at the door. Uh, hey, uh, Josh! Hey, Aviator. I'm glad you're home. Oh, what's up, buddy? I have great news for you. Really? I could sure use some good news. Well, what is it? I just heard from my dad that Bree was conscious this morning. What? Really? She's awake? Oh my god, it's been weeks! I know! I had to stop by as soon as I heard. I wanted to make sure you knew. Thank you so much for telling me. I wonder why I didn't get a call from her, though. She is probably really weak or something. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I guess you're right. She has been out for weeks. I need to go see her. Alright, you run to her. I'll see you later. Thanks again, Josh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go. Oh man, Bree snapped out of her coma. Uh, what do I look like? Do I look good? Do I look great? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, okay, I, I look pretty good. Um, she's gonna see me for the first time in, in weeks. Well, for her, it's probably felt like seconds. But I have to make sure I look my best. Now let's get to the hospital. Uh, Sunnyside General Hospital. Bree's on the other side of those doors, and she's awake and probably waiting for me. She probably has so much to talk about. Oh, man. Rachel? What's Rachel doing standing outside the hospital again? Hey, Rachel. Aviator, I heard that Bree's awake. Is it true? Yeah, it is. I'm on my way, actually, to go see her right now. Do you think she'll remember anything? Like, what do you mean? Well, what happened with the golf cart and stuff? Oh, I'm not sure. I sure hope so. I don't think you should ask her right away, though. You don't want to shock her. I didn't even think about that. I guess I shouldn't bother with it today. Thanks for the heads up, Rachel. Don't mention it. I'm happy to help. So, do you think I could come with you? Uh, no. I think I want to go visit her on my own. Oh, really? Uh, th that's okay. It's fine. I'll see you around, Rachel, but I gotta go. Okay, see ya. Oh, man. It's weird that Rachel's right outside the hospital, staring through the windows. What, has she been here all day? Has she just been waiting for me to walk in, or is she watching Bree? It's weird that she cares so much about Bree now, when they literally were in a fight a couple weeks ago. Whatever, though. I, I just gotta go see Bree. Oh, oh uh, there's Bree's dad. Hey! Hey, Aviator! It's good to see you! Bree was awake, and she seems to be doing well. I heard! I heard she was awake. I'm so happy she's doing well. Well, the nurse just finished up with the ride now, but you can go in and see her. Okay, thank you, sir. So, have you been holding up since the accident? Uh, I've been getting by. How about you? Uh, not too good. Ray's mom hasn't been taking this too well. Oh, really? What's going on with her? She just hasn't been the same since the accident. Our relationship is kind of on the rocks at the moment. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everything gets better. I'm sure it will. Now that Bree's awake. Well, I'm gonna go say hi to Bree. I'll talk to you later, sir. Stay around, Aviator. That's so sad to hear that Bree's dad and Bree's mom are struggling relationship-wise. I hope they don't tell Bree that. She's so sensitive right now after being in a coma. I wouldn't want her to be upset. <sighs> Man. Oh, there's the nurse. Here we go, room 112. Bree's on the other side of this door waiting for me. Let's do this. Bree! It's so good to see you awake! You have no idea how, how much I missed you! Um, I'm sorry, but do I know you? Bree, it, it, it's me, Aviator. I'm sorry, did we meet at the grocery store or something? I really don't recall. I'm... I'm your boyfriend. We've been dating for months. 
Boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. Who are you really? <laughs> Stop playing, Bree. I'm your boyfriend, Aviator. I'm sorry. You must have me mistaken for somebody else. Can you go now? I need to rest. Bree, you have to remember me. I, I love you. Uh, nurse? Nurse! No, no, wait! Nurse! Sir, you're going to have to leave now. She needs her rest. B but I'm her boyfriend! Sir, come with me. Remember, Bree! Remember! Get him out of here, please! Aviator, is it? I'm sorry I had to pull you out like that, but Bree has suffered a serious head injury. Some of her memory is lost. Will it ever come back? Will she ever remember me? We are hopeful she can regain all of her memory, but we aren't certain. So she could never remember me? I could be forgotten completely? Don't think like that. I'm sure she will recover her memory. Is there anything I can do to help her? I think you need to give her some space. She's going to need it to recover. How much longer will she be here? A few more weeks, most likely. Okay. Well, thank you, nurse. I don't understand. Bree doesn't remember who I am. She she doesn't know that I'm her boyfriend. She doesn't remember all the stuff we've been through. She doesn't remember our my basketball games. She doesn't remember how we met. She doesn't remember the fight she was in with Rachel. She doesn't remember all the dates we've been on, all those times I snuck into her house when she was suspended. She doesn't remember me. That means she doesn't love me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't give up on her. I gotta stay strong for Bree. But the nurse wants me to give her space. She doesn't want me to spook her or help suppress the memories. So I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. Give Bree her space. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Minecraft School, but now I want to address something. So many of you guys ask me, how do I get my hair to stand up so tall? And that's all thanks to Hans de Fuko Gravity Paste. Now I've used tons of styling gels uh, in my day, and none of them really work to keep my hair up all day because I have like really heavy hair and it's like six inches long. But this stuff, this stuff makes my hair stand straight up all day, and literally I was able to throw away all my other styling creams. Let me show you what it's like to style Aviator Gaming's hair. So you lather, and then you just brush it, pull it up, look at this, just work it in, just work it in, and it's already becoming like concrete, look at this, it's standing up, and now more blow drying, that's what I do for you guys. It takes a real product to make this this hair happen. And you guys, they happen to give me a promo code, so if you want to check them out, if you guys use the promo code ZAK3, it's up here on the screen and in the description, you get one of these deluxe mini kits for free. The mini kit comes with tons of different styling creams, even the one I just used, Gravity Paste. Plus it comes with a little instruction booklet with each one uh, listed in and, and what they each do. So if you guys want to get your hair game strong like mine and look as good as I do, make sure you check out the link down below in the description box and use the promo code ZAK3 to get your free mini kit. Haley, do I look pretty? Do I, I look pretty.